All right, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? It's Thursday, May the 21st, 2020. Hope you guys are having an excellent day today. Welcome to another episode of Music of Destruction, right here on YouTube, bringing you the best in metal related content. And I want to welcome you to Top 15 Thursdays, right here on the channel and tonight I am doing my top 15 thrash metal albums long-awaited video I'm sure uh, I've been really busy this week tomorrow I'm doing metal album warfares on Saturday I'm going to put out a metal review and on Sunday I'm gonna do an album ranking kind of a backwards schedule this week but I want to get caught up and hey if you missed anything in the past seven days just click the I in the upper left corner of the screen right now you can get caught up on all my latest content I'd really appreciate it top 15 thrash this week as I said before and uh, let's just jump right into it here coming in at number 15 Exodus bonded by blood 1986 or sorry 1985 on Torrid Records and this album did so much for thrash metal back in the day I mean it's fucking Exodus man they are one of the greatest thrash bands in history and I know a lot of people might disagree with that they might put Slayer in front of them or they might put Destruction in front of them or Creator or whoever at number 15 you might have a different 15 list than I do and that's fine put it in the comments I'm interested to know your top 15s as well but Exodus to me were one of the pinnacle thrash bands of the 80s and still to this day are one of the best thrash metal bands in my humble opinion and I really love Bonded by Blood in fact I love a lot of their stuff but Bonded by Blood to me had that raw gritty primal fucking feel that Exodus needed at this time and that many thrash bands were experimenting with in 1985 and this is a great album 15 Exodus Bonded by Blood coming in at number 14 this is gonna come as no surprise to many people Metallica's Kill 'Em All from 1983 on Mega Force fucking records. Cliff Burton was a legend on this album. I know a lot of people say Dave Mustaine wrote the majority of the tracks for Kill 'Em All, and that may be true. If it is true, that's great. Uh, he was fired from the band for drug abuse. So Mechanics, everybody knows, was the Four Horsemen or vice versa. But this album to me is one of the greatest thrash metal albums of all time. I and mean, this is what set the benchmark for many thrash bands that would come after Metallica's Kill 'Em All. I'm number 14. Coming in at number 13, we've got Voivod with Killing Technology, 1987 on Noise Records. One of the most interesting thrash metal albums of that year. And Voivod, an absolutely killer band with a lot of that technological space theme going on. Very, very uh, great album with many of those spacey, trancey moments in the guitars and things like that. Absolutely killer fucking record from Voivod. And in 1987, Voivod was a very unique band for the time. And this album really stuck out to me then uh, when I heard it. Great album for that era. Amazing fucking record at number 13, Voivod's Killing Technology. Coming in at number 12, we have Artillery with By Inheritance, released in 1990 on RC Records. This is a band in the thrash metal scene that I feel doesn't get enough attention, so I'm bringing the attention to Artillery coming in at number 12 because this is a fucking killer album. And a lot of Artillery stuff is top-notch thrash metal to me. One of the greatest bands in thrash metal history, in my opinion, in this album very very unique stands on its own laurels and merits very convicted and passionate like all the albums in this list absolutely killer with by inheritance coming in at number 12 from artillery coming in at number 11 and this probably comes as no surprise to many of you megadeth with peace cells but who's buying released in 1986 on capitol records now 1986 was known as the fucking year of thrash metal and it really was there were so many bands putting out material between 1985 to 1988 but 86 was one of the biggest years in thrash metal history so many albums came out and megadeth's peace cells but who's buying is no exception this is one of my favorite thrash metal records and i absolutely love megadeth to death <laughs> and congratulations to dave mustaine for beating throat cancer man Fuck, it would have sucked to lose you, Dave Mustaine. Love you, brother.
Coming in at number 10, we have Destruction with Everlasting Devastation, released in 1986 on Steam Hammer Records. More German thrash here, uh, or the first German thrash in this list. I think artillery is German as well. Uh, Everlasting Devastation, 1986 on Steam Hammer Records. Amazing, fucking raw, powerful, brutal sound with this record. Very, very different for 1986, and I know Destruction is one of the big three of German thrash, and there's no way I could not fucking include them on this list. Destruction, absolutely amazing. Check out that fucking album if you haven't heard it. It's fucking top-notch thrash metal. It's Destruction. What more do I need to say, man? Legends. Legends. Coming in at number nine, we have Sodom with Agent Orange, released in 1989 on Steam Hammer Records. And I know a lot of people might say, well, why not some of their earlier albums? Now, their earlier work was more... A lot of people say it was black speed metal. I don't really hear black metal in Sodom. But Agent Orange was a pure thrash metal assault on all of your senses. One of the greatest thrash metal albums I've ever fucking heard. And one of my favorites to this day. Sodom, absolutely killer with Agent Orange. Great riffs, great drumming, great bass, great production. Very raw, uh, gritty thrash metal the way it should be. Amazing album. Coming in at number eight, we have Sadis with Swallowed in Black, released in 1990 on RC Records. This is another band I don't hear anybody talking about, hardly at all. When I go into Facebook metal groups or I'm talking to people, you know, at concerts, they don't really mention Sadis when they talk about thrash metal. I don't understand why. This is one of the greatest bands in thrash metal. Though maybe they didn't have that that launch to success that many of the bands did back then. I think Sadis. Obviously, Sadis was more of an underground band, but they deserve so much credit for helping pave the way in benchmarking the thrash metal scene with Swallowed in Black in 1990, one of the greatest thrash metal albums of all time, in my opinion. Coming in at number seven, we have a new wave of thrash metal band here with Havoc, Unnatural Selection, released in 2013 on Century Media Records. And I'm very happy that there was a resurgence of thrash metal in the 2000s, Great bands coming out of the thrash metal scene right now. We're going to be going through my top 15 uh, traditional heavy metal albums next Thursday. And you can better believe there's going to be some great new, new wave of traditional heavy metal in that fucking list. Because the new wave of thrash metal is right up there with the new wave of traditional heavy metal for me. And I'm really happy that these bands are bringing these scenes back to life. It's a resurgence. It's a rebirth. And in many ways, Havoc's Unnatural Selection is kind of like a Megadeth meets Sodom vibe what I got from it. Incredible fucking album. Very political or anti-political. Great message. Havoc. Amazing band. Coming in at number six, and I mean there's no way I couldn't include Motorhead's Overkill in 1979 on Bronze Records in this fucking list because this is proto-thrash metal and let's face it, in 1979 there was nothing heavier than Overkill. I mean think about it. The year is 79. What's heavier than Overkill in 79? Absolutely fucking nothing. Great album. Lemmy, Phil, and Fast Eddie, rest in peace. Wurzel, rest in peace. Uh, I think Phil Campbell passed. No, he's still alive. There was another member, one of the members of the band. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, my God, Overkill, one of the greatest albums ever made. One of the greatest metal albums ever made. Never mind one of the greatest thrash metal albums ever made. I know people say, well, they're hard rock. They're proto-thrash hard rock. Great album. It's Overkill, man. It's fucking Motorhead. Coming in at number five, we have another new wave of thrash metal band with Vectors Outer Isolation, released in 2011 on Heavy Artillery Records. I have the fucking vinyl, I have the shirt. I was blown away by Vectors' originality. I know a lot of people say they're an Oblivion or Voivod clone. I don't agree. I don't think they sound anything like those two bands, though Oblivion and Voivod are killer. Couldn't put Oblivion on this list because I only had 15 albums to choose from. And I wanted to choose Voivod over Oblivion because I like Voivod a bit better. Vector, nonetheless, great thrash, blackened thrash, if you will. Great fucking record. Check it out if you haven't heard it. Vector is absolutely amazing, despite the rumors that the singer beat his wife. I don't fucking believe that. Anyway, coming in at number four, we have a Canadian thrash metal legend here with Razors, Violent Restitution, released in 1988 on Steam Hammer Records. It's Razor. It's Canadian Thrash. One of the greatest thrash metal albums I've ever heard. Great guitar work, great drumming, great bass, great lyrics. Amazing emotion and conviction on this band as well. I mean, it's Violent Restitution from fucking Razor. 
Listen to it. Buy it. Amazing record. Coming in at number three, we've got a Brazilian thrash slash death metal legend, Sepultura with Morbid Visions, released in 1986 on Cogumelo Records. I mean, this is Sepultura, man. I mean, what, what, what more needs to be said? It's Morbid Visions. It's raw. It's brutal. It's fast. It's Max and Igor. Go out and get it. It's Sepultura. What more needs to be said? A fucking amazing album. Coming in at number two, we have Anthrax, Spreading the Disease. Now, I know a lot of people might not agree with this, but Anthrax is an amazing fucking band, Spreading the Disease from 1985, Music for Nations is the label. Killer fucking record here. Anthrax, man. What more needs to be said? It's, it's great. This is raw. This is thrash metal, the way it should be. And Anthrax are no exception to this list because they are fucking legends and they deserve to be in anybody's top 15 in thrash. Coming in at number one on this fucking list, we have Creator Pleasure to Fucking Kill, 1986 Noise Records. You guys know how I feel about Creator. You can check out my review of it right up there in the corner of the screen, Pleasure to Kill. Favorite thrash metal band of all time, Probably my favorite thrash metal of, metal album of all time. Though a lot of people say, well, what about their previous stuff? What about their uh, their newer stuff? Great albums all the way through their discography. The Pleasure to Kill was one of the heaviest fucking albums of 1986, bar none. It's Creator. It's Pleasure to Kill, man. Go out and buy it if you don't have it. I have Pleasure to Kill with the Flag of Hate EP. Amazing absolutely amazing and hey if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything follow me on the twitter and the instagram music of destruction join the facebook group if you want to talk about all things metal if you're a metal podcaster youtuber in a band you run a label you're a manager whatever come join the group talk about metal facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash music of destruction Get access to my exclusive podcast, The Seed. Help keep the channel going. Help keep the podcast going. The Seed, episode number 21, The History of Motorhead, part three up there right now. New series coming up in exactly, uh, I think it's like a week and a half's time. Going to be doing a new series. Haven't picked the band or the genre I want to cover yet, but you guys are going to continue to get access to these podcasts for just five bucks a month on Patreon. And hey, if you want to throw me a buck a month on Patreon, I will review an album of your choosing. Just please, no slam or death scores. Those are genres I do not enjoy. I want to give some shout-outs here to some great friends of mine in the metal community. Shadows of Death Records. Gail, my good buddy there. Go to shadowsofdeathrecords.com. Great roster he's putting together. Sight of Luna, one of his most promising acts. You can check out my review of Sight of Luna with their track Requiem right up there in the corner of the screen. This is an amazing black avant-garde metal band from the Philippines that has a very promising future. Check them out. Also, shout out to Terry Marquez, the manager of the Pissing Razors in Texas Voodoo. Can't wait to get Pissing Razors back for another interview after they release Eulogy Death March, which is coming up very, very soon. I'm really excited for that album. Also, a shout out to Metal Bands Chronicles, King of Swords Acid Metal, More Decide, with my buddy Josh, Backwoods Metal, and Farley's Nerdcade. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, like, and comment. Have yourselves an awesome day, and we will see you tomorrow for Metal Album Warfare. Got two killer albums here that are going up against each other tomorrow, right here. Sadistic Execution and Marduk's Fuck Me Jesus. Doing battle tomorrow, right here on Metal Album Warfare. Have yourselves an awesome night. Stay fucking metal. Cheers, everybody.